Trepway's YouTube channel. My name is Namisha Ostwal and today we are going to discuss strategies to crack the verbal ability section of your IVMAT exam. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we'll start by discussing the previous year cutoffs of the verbal ability section. You might already know that I am Rohtak does not have a sectional cutoff, but I am in the orders. Uh, earlier, the cutoff for this section was about 68 to 72 marks, but in 2022, the cutoff rose to 112 marks and the number of questions increased from 40 to 45, but the time given remained the same, that is 40 minutes. Let us now look at how the verbal ability section might look in the exam. The one on the left is IVMAT Indoor and the one on the right is IVMAT Rohtak's verbal ability section. You can see that there are few topics like RC, grammar, vocabulary that are common in all of them. So we'll discuss the strategies to tackle such questions. First of all, let's start with RCs. So I would suggest that even if it takes you an extra minute, give it because uh, the extra minute would be divided in six questions and it would mean an increased accuracy which is a plus point so it could make or break your attempt next up grammar is fully application of concepts so if you're done revising the concepts application part would be easy and it would take very less time compared to let's say rc's uh, i would suggest that you give mocks and get used to the application part uh, next up, we have para jumble or para completion. Uh, this part of section can be solved by working on your reading and reasoning skills. Uh, some questions like idioms or vocab based questions and confusables have been there for years and probably will be there when you give the paper. So prioritize preparing for them. I won't say that you should learn them and remember each one of them, but try to retain maximum of the ones you study. So uh, try to retain the maximum and revise them periodically. So you save time here too because either you know the answer to the question or you don't. My last piece of advice would be remember this is not your board exams. You are not supposed to attempt all the questions or expect 100% accuracy. Uh, remember that the overall strategy would be that pick the questions you know you can answer, you're comfortable when it comes to answering them and answer them with maximum accuracy. Uh, again, the importance of mocks cannot be overemphasized. You have to get mocks. That's it for today's video. For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel and visit our website www.myprepway.in. Thank you.